Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. This message will be labeled as a message for March 16th because I'm posting it in time for the 16th where I am. But depending on where you are, 16th may have come and gone, or you may not see this for a few weeks or months. So I'm setting the intention that this be a message for you for the next uh, 24 hours from whenever you happen to see the video. Happy birthday to all the March 16th babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever random day you may stumble upon this. Okay, the card we have today is the death card. And do not let this card scare you. I'm not saying this under bias as a Scorpio because this is, after all, the card for Scorpio. Um, but this can be uh, rebirth, the beginning of new things, Phoenix rising from the ashes. Scorpio is sometimes referred to as Phoenix rising from the ashes. Uh, if you are a Scorpio, this could be a time that you're really coming into your truth, taking back your power, living in your authenticity, living your best life unapologetically, unconcerned with the thoughts and opinions of others. Uh, so there could be a, a sense of like finding yourself and taking back your power here if you're a Scorpio. If you have Scorpio placements, there could be big, big changes or big, big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. Some of you could be encountering or dealing with a Scorpio that might be a very significant at this time in your life. Now, Putting Scorpio aside, looking at this card for its meanings. As I said, this is a card that comes up when something is ending, but when it ends, something else is beginning. So there, there's a transition, there's a change, there's a switch. This chapter is closed and now we're coming into a new chapter. We're coming into a new era. And for that reason, this card is sometimes associated, like I said, with the, that energy of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Uh, the difference between the death card and the tower card. The tower card could be a sudden end, right? Like it just kind of blindsides us. It just, bam, you know, like we didn't see it coming. But with this card, it's like something has reached its natural um, limit, uh, it, its natural time, right? Like something has run its course. So whatever this thing is that is ending, we're going to know, okay, it's time. Like it, it was a good run. It, it serves me well, but now this is done and now it's on to the next thing. And so I do feel under that influence of the full moon in Virgo, we had not that long ago, a lot of you are seeing the things that are no longer serving you. And I feel that you're going to be encountering the card in this way, just the things that no longer serve you. And I feel for a lot of you, it has a lot to do with how you're dealing with with people in your life. You're going to find that you're going to start responding to people and situations in a very different way and in a very truthful way without worrying about like, you know, well, what if they don't talk to me anymore? Or what if it hurts their feelings? And albeit, let me be clear here, I'm not saying that you're going to be rude or mean, but you're going to be honest. And I feel like this is going to be something that throws a lot of people off. Like they weren't expecting you to be so honest or like so direct. Um, but anything that's not serving you, you're not doing it. And in terms of like responding to situations, I feel like for a lot of you, it's getting a lot easier to say no. Just nope. I mean, like people are surprised like what do you mean though right because they think that maybe you're gonna be like oh okay all right I guess um I don't know I just feel this vibe of not doing anything you don't want to do um also like a, a a sense here of um uh new beginnings I feel also that this is an energy that some people may be feeling in regards to you in that there are people that are just waking up and just realizing that they went too far. They went too far with you. Like maybe you've been living your life, you've been doing your thing, and there was never really any real confrontation. You never really confronted this person. But you were like, oh, okay, I'm going to make note of that and I'm not going to mess with this person anymore. Okay, I see where I stand with this person or I see their character now. 
And so you may have kind of distanced yourself from certain people or situations, or you began to put your time and energy into other things. And maybe before they just thought it's one of those things where, oh, well, we don't talk every day or we don't hang out every day, but we're still cool. I feel like people are starting to have epiphanies about the way that they've wronged you. And the fact that you haven't been around is because you just decided I'm not dealing with this anymore, right? Like you saw it, you weren't stupid, you saw it, you saw what was going on and you just removed yourself from the equation. It wasn't worth your time to get into drama or arguing or fighting like you already knew. If I say something to this person, they're going to deny it. If I say something to this person, they're going to they're gonna defend it. And so you were just like, okay, I'm not going to deal with this energy. And they're just now realizing, ooh, wait a minute. Oh, they, they're done with me. That was messed up. That was messed up what I did. That was messed up what I said. Oh, man. And I feel like some people are just beginning to realize <laughs> after you moved on with your life, they've just barely now begun to realize uh, that they may not be in your good graces <laughs> and that they behaved in a messed up way. So I feel some people are beginning to realize that they've lost you. They're beginning to realize that uh, they went too far. They played around too much. They were too inconsiderate. And you just moved on. You just quietly left out the back door. And uh, I just feel people are beginning to have this realization now. Um, in the current energies, they may be having this epiphany or this realization that this, is, this isn't something they can fix, you know? So, like, for some of you, uh, these people might not even reach out and say sorry because, like, they already know. They already know, like, you're, you're gone. You're gone. You're over it. There, there's no salvaging this. There's no coming back from this. Um, so this is what I'm feeling in the energy. Um, you might want to check out the weekly forecasts if you have not already. Those are linked in the description. Also, love readings for March are linked in the description. Love readings for April are, are pending approval. And... Um, if you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I hope you all have a wonderful day ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.